What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to look at something that I found in the comments of one of my videos that someone suggested. It's a particular workflow with using Revit and Twinmotion to show a particular element or not. And uh, well, let's get into it because it, it might be a good way of organizing your Twinmotion model, it might be a good way of working with specific models that you need to within Revit and have them show up in a particular way in Twinmotion. Anyways, if you haven't learned something or just like the video, do demolish that like button and also it helps me a lot. And subscribe, that does too. Okay, so this is a really cool idea and I thought I would make a video on it because it ended up being really nice and working out well. And I could see this used in a number of applications that not just for what we're gonna do in this video. So I we've seen this project before, it's really nothing special, but what I'm gonna show is Let's say we have a, a building model and we're trying to work through maybe a furniture layout or the types of furniture or something like that. That's what we're going to cover in this video. But maybe we want to have the base building set up by itself and, you know, the building's going to change and do its own thing. And then we've got the furniture that's going to be set off to the side and maybe it's saved for later. Maybe it's in a, a different phase. Maybe it's down the line. Maybe you have someone else working on the furniture. And it's all going into the same building. Anyways, this kind of aligns, this workflow aligns with the idea that you have you know, a floor plan, a construction plan, and then we have furniture plans. So we're not really showing the furniture all the time. And maybe that applies to something like twin motion. You know, something that we can do, of course, by default is always come down here. And because I have it ordered the way it is, and I brought in every element the way that it's built within Revit, I've kept the hierarchy and everything. It just makes sense. And what I can do is, of course, go to my furniture if I can find it. And it's it's set up this way. I don't have it necessarily set up by category, except until we get to the point where we're literally seeing the entire furniture folder. And so what I can do is just hide the furniture. That's one way I can do it if I want just the base building and I want to work with the furniture. Well, I mean, that's fine. And I can do that. But Technically, the furniture is still in my project. It's still in my Twin Motion project. It's here. I just can't see it. And every time I update my project, update my project, that that furniture is going to change as well. And it might be that I want someone else to have the capability of doing that, or I want someone else to handle all the furniture separately and just bring it in Twin Motion by itself. And so your first thought might be, well, we can just link in the furniture separately. And that works just fine until you get to the point where you click see in twin motion. And as soon as you do that, everything in twin motion is going to change to what you see in the view. Basically, you'll lose everything except what you're seeing. And in this case, I'm seeing everything. But if, for example, what I want to do is end up duplicating this. And you can call this furniture. You can keep the same name. It doesn't necessarily matter. But for what I'm going to do, I'm only going to show my furniture in this view. So I'm going to, sh I'm basically going to hide everything except my furniture right there. And now we can see all my furniture. That's nice. But if I hit C in twin motion, <laughs> it's going to replace my entire model in twin motion with just my furniture. And now that's, that's okay. But that of course, isn't what I want because I want to work with my building of two, of course. So what I'm going to do instead is something a little different. And this is what the user told me. It, it's great. So I can come back to my default view. And instead of hiding everything in here, I'll just go to my furniture and hide my furniture. So technically, I have one view with nothing. As far as furniture goes, I have no furniture in this view. And I have another view that's only furniture. So like I said before, if I hope if I click see in twin motion on any one of these views, I will then see what is in that view in twin motion. And that makes sense. Of course, seeing twin motion is the button. So let's do that. When I do this, you'll notice it, it looks the exact same. And that's because I hid the furniture before. But you'll also notice that I don't have furniture in this project at all. It looked like there's no furniture. It's it's empty. There's nothing there. It just came as an empty folder. Well, in this case, that's kind of what I want because I want to bring in the furniture separately. And the great thing about what we're going to do here is now what I can do is come to my view that has all my furniture. I can then export this. I'm going to export this separately, which is great, really great. And, you know, just make sure you have vegetation and MEP families included if you want to include that or if you happen to have that. In this case, it's furniture, so it doesn't necessarily matter. 
I will click export. And we will save this here as furniture. Okay. And once I do that, I have I now have this furniture as its own FBX file. And I'm simply going to bring this in to the same model as everything else. And so I have this model and I'm going to just collapse all of this so I can see everything within just this model. And now all I need to do is go to import. I'm going to open that FBX. And all we're going to do at that point is literally load it in. It should just show up exactly where we want it to go. And it's going to be the exact furniture that we want. Now, I want to make sure I collapse this by keeping the hierarchy. And you can fix the UVs or textures if you want. And I should be good to go. And I hit OK. And look at that. <laughs> There's all my furniture. So the great thing about this is that I have all my furniture and my building in, of course, one twin motion project, but they're both separately. So maybe now I have someone who's working on the furniture. They're working on the layout within my exact same project from Revit that I'm working in, and they might change things up. And all they simply need to do is go to that view with just, just the furniture showing, export that as the same FBX, and I just have to come over here and then reload it, and that's it. And I get the new layout, the new furniture, everything. And so that that's really a great workflow. So the idea is maybe there's a portion of your project that is separate, and then you have someone else working on that, or maybe you just want to work on that on your own, separate from the project. You load that in, and so you have these two different complete models, in a sense, in twin motion, in your twin motion project that you can work with separately. And that's really nice. And you can, doesn't have to be just furniture. Don't, don't take this as it's just the furniture. It could be the entire site. It could be the whole site. You have someone working on the building and then you have someone working on the site, you know, changing the topography, the grades and everything. That's, that's a really cool idea. I can look to do something like that. Maybe you have someone working on the second floor. That works. I mean, this can apply to absolutely anything depending on how you want to break up your project. In this case, it makes sense to split up the furniture. It just does. So really, that will do it for this video. We we looked at a really nice visibility workflow. And I can't thank you enough, the ArcVids whiz who left me this idea. And it was worth making a video. It just makes sense. So nothing groundbreaking here, but it's a way of organizing both Revit and Twinmotion together to utilize both programs to the fullest. It allows you to work with a particular element in one program and the other independently. You don't have to bring everything in together. That's not really the point of twin motion. You could really just show whatever you want and bring it in and then show something else and bring that in. But maybe we want to see our whole model. In this case, this is what this is for. So I really enjoy it. It's great. If you happen to learn something or you just like the video, then demolish that like button. Also subscribe. That helps quite a lot. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Thanks.